Hello all my little megabytes out there and welcome back to another Badly Coded Impressions video. This time for A Space for the Unbound. Now I don't know a lot about this game, only I know it's like a sort of, um, it's a point and click. Um, it's based in 1990s Indonesia. That's all I know about it, so let's get into it shall we? Boom, new game. And there's quite a few cats involved. It was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak and the cat was worried. Meow. Princess. Meow. Mew. Look sick. Ah, oh, right. Mew looks sick. Are you okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye. To leave the world behind. Oh no! I have something for you, my dearest friend. A parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something shone brightly in the palm of her hand. It was the miracle. Not a miracle, the miracle. The cat was stunned, in awe. But it cried too. Oh, meow, princess, please don't. I can't let me go, the cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap. I can't. Me neither. This is like a film or something. I was a war it was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone. The cat hugged the flower to itself. Oh, princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? Oh, it was great. Your story was so touching, and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and all the characters, I loved them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew, I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would have been a brutal way to end the story. So I decided to scrap that. I don't know, that count sounds kind of good. Yeah, I think that's uh, too violent. It doesn't fit in at all. I liked it. <laughs> By the way, where did you get the idea for the comic from? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eyes to the sky for inspiration, as you do, and a comet flashed suddenly across the horizon burning bright through the pitch dark night. Ah, oh, jeez, I wish I was awake last night. I don't, I wish I was asleep. <laughs> but still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yeah, it'd be like an epilogue. But we can sort of think of it as a final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will, uh, um, the yellow flower they are about to, uh, oh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, 
Why don't we go out and get some fresh air? Maybe it will help clear your mind. Mm, okay. Right, okay, so. Now with these sort of games that I normally play on the mouse and keyboard, but I'm actually breaking that tradition and playing it on a controller. But from what I've played so far, because I played a little bit before this, it sort of seems solid, so yeah. Hmm, how about now? Feeling any better? Uh, I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? Hmm, I don't know. It feels scary to think about that. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell yet. Yep, that's writer's block, alright. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? Book, mate. The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? The book which contains the spell to dive into people's hearts and rid them of their inner turmoil. That sounds like a book I could get behind. Oh yeah, the magic red book, of course. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? Uh, I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I'm so careless. Hey, no worries, I'll help you look for the magic red book. I might have left it around here. Keep your eye out for something red. Okay, I'm on it. That is some good advice. Keep your eye out for something red. Good advice. Right, let's have a look at this. What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says... Double tap left or right to run. <laughs> A classic tutorial. Wonder what game it's for. <laughs> Joke's on you, mate. It's this game. Ha <laughs> bye. Hey, where are you going? Help me find the magic red book, will you? I was just doing what the tutorial said, love. Hold on to your beans. Sorry, I went past it. I found a red book. This must be the magic red book. I don't know. It could be an ordinary red book. Let's run back to her. Running's a bit tricky, but... Hey, I think I've got the gist of it. Magic red book. There we go. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book. You found it. Go on, then. Try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you. Can you help me, bountiful, magical, mystical co-writer? Please, 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 please. That's a lot of pleasers. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. Why couldn't you just say that in the first place? See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? <laughs> Believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. It, it, now, is this flower doing a proper dance? Is it twerking? Is it, you know... Then you just open the book. Is, is that it? No dancing or chanting required? Well, you can dance, if you like, mate. That's it. Hurry up and try it already. Okay. We're doing it to get rid of whatever you're scared of. And to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell you. Oh, right. So, the flower's not really dancing, so... Uh, dive. Gushpiloosh. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty. Hello? Hello? I am inside your mind. Please talk to me. I'm scared. Too scared to think about the final chapter and what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out to be bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. There's nothing wrong with being a weirdo, love. I'm a weirdo. 
Just think, I've never finished anything before. This final chapter, will I ever be able to finish it? Yes, you will, because I will see it through. What is this? I picked up a key. I wonder what it opens. Could it be that big floating door over there? Maybe? Yes. Oh god, we got people laughing. Point and laugh, guys, point and laugh. Freak! This is the stupidest thing I've I've said it so fast. Oh, you know, whatever. Your stuff ain't worth reading. Ooh, hello. Big flower. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered into the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. A pretty, pretty yellow flower like the one in front of me. Ooh. And we have the final chapter. Yeah, give me that. I have an idea. It could be useful. Right, okay. What, your idea or that? Let's run back. <laughs> I like the animation style. I like the whole art thing. Paper idea. This story. I'm still afraid, but this... Should I... Should I tell the story? Could I finish it? Yes. This is it. This is it. You're welcome for me helping to dive into your brain. Don't worry about it. Whoa, I just realised how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in and out of space. Kind of like an out-of-body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when we use the Magic Red Book. I think Space Dive sounds cool. What do you think? Mm, space dive. Yeah, that sounds cool. And informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive! So, did the space dive actually help? Yeah, I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh, wow, cool. For real? Yes, it's a big blue star. What is it with coloured things? Big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. Everybody say it now. Big blue star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back? Exactly. Oh, wow. That sounds like it'd be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co Mr. Co Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Nah, don't mention it. You're the one who came up with the Star Princess story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? Uh, if you say so, well, um. Hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter! Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yes, we need a spaceship. Whoa, a spaceship? Yes, in the end, the Star Princess and the cat will explore the spaces together in a new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built that ship myself. What? When did you? Can I see it? Where is it? Ha! I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built in my super secret workshop across the river. You wouldn't find it. You cross the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And it looks like I'm still here, aren't I? Well, of course. <laughs> anyway, I need some something important to finish the ship. Something with a magical power to propel it through space. Uh space engines. <laughs> and that thing is the Star Princess magic wand, of course. 
So not star engines. Space engines. But I left it at home. Oh well. That's how, should we go and pick it up? No. I can't go there right now. My house is uh, not good right now. My father. He's uh, a big man. <laughs> hey don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room right? I'll go and get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries, I'm stealthy like a cat, you know. Yes, but I'm not stealthy as a cat. Don't ask me to do a stealth mission at the start of your game. I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can, but you have to promise me that you won't cross the river by yourself. We started this together and we finished it together, okay? Yeah, you're right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Oh, you mean the uh, super secret place that you made it was your room? Okay. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat, Bosk, will always know where to go. Oh! It's a little kitty. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You, sh you should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right. But the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some um, inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know. Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I just wanted to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co-writer I've ever had. Now that indicates to me that you've had other co-writers. Are you cheating on me with other co-writers? Oh, no need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Follow the kitty. Meow. Yeah. Ah, a house should be in this block. Uh oh no, someone's here. Hello, Mrs. Do I? Are you going to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. What's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter, lately she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband, well, things aren't going too well with his boss. He's been a little overstressed and, well, over the money that we had to borrow to get Narmala and Narmala into school. And he's taking it all out on Narmala. Today, she locked herself in a room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Why is she so scared to go to school? <sighs> I don't know yet. I want to talk to them about it after all of this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about it on the way. Yes, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry. You can share whatever your problems are with me. That's what neighbours are for, right? Everybody needs good neighbours. <laughs> right, they're gone. Now's my chance. This must be your house. Uh, how did you get up there, Mr. Cat? Well, I, I probably know how you got up there, but how am I meant to get up there? It will be too dangerous to go through the front door. Maybe it would be easier if I pretend if I was if I pretended that I was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know that she sneaked out of the house. Besides, he'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. Maybe. This is all too risky, but I have to get a magic wand for her. What should I do? Meow Timely meow. Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh, yeah, the window to the second floor must lead directly to a room. 
What, the one that's open, you mean? Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? Um, I don't know. A ladder might help? What's this? I might be able to reach the second floor if I could climb up this wall. But the wall itself is too high for me to reach. If only there was something I could climb on or stand on. Right, so we need a ladder or a box or something? Yes. Um, is that your ladder, sir? Can I look at your ladder? Can I take it? No, I can't. Hey, kid, what are you doing with my ladder? I, uh, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really sturdy. And, uh, Chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? Mm, no, actually, I can't. All you're doing is touching some long wooden thing. I wish... Uh, I wish I could get some sleep, though. Damn, I could definitely use this ladder to get a Nerm's room. I'm just going to call her Nerm. Do I have anything else I could use? <gasps> Ooh, big red book time. The magic red book. Can I use it right now? Uh, not right now, but you could use it on him. Space dive! Boom. Time to wake up. Hello. But he's already awake. <gasps> so sleepy. Staying awake to see the comet last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake just by keeping busy. But now all I want to do is sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing noise. I know you just said that. And of course, not without listening to my favourite Kuron Kung music to de-stress. Oh, all I want to do is sleep. Interact, turn that off. Whoa, that flower is blooming. I wonder what would happen if I made all the rest bloom too. Uh, be gone with your bad self. Nice, so we go get another bloom. Ah, oh, it won't turn off. What a strange clock. Can we hit it with a hammer? No. A cassette player. The cassette slot is empty. What kind of music should it be playing? Um, damn, man. Cassette players are so out of it. I found a baton. Should I resort to violence? Yes, you should, by smashing the clock with your batonis. Hiya! Yeah! Ooh, we got another bloomage. Nice. Uh, now, where are we going to find that cassette? Oh, we got another bloom. Nice. Hmm, where, where would that... Maybe it was in the remains of the clock? No? Okay. Um, it's not on the floor anywhere, is it? No? Mm. Huh? What? I'm sorry. About the cocoon beat. It's a mixtape I recorded for myself. So what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool. Totally awesome. Dude. I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Karon... I can't say that. Karon Kong. Karon Kong. It's an old music genre. Bought over by the Colonials. And then perfected by us locals. It's something, you know. A perfect accompaniment for people looking to relax and escape in the world from a, from the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You could take my demo tape. 
Cheers. Oh, no, no. You don't have to. Please, dude. It's such a rare occasion meeting a fellow Karan Kong music fan, you know? Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Oh, thank you very much, I guess. I don't really understand Kukong music at all. I'm just going to call it Kukong. <laughs> right. Back to this dude's dream. Space have. Or was I meant to give him the cassette? I don't know. But, anyway. Woohoo! Hello, Mr. Man. I've got your cassette. Yeah, there we go. Have them happening tunes, man. I'm pretty sure that didn't sound like the one that that dude was listening to, but whatever. Mmm. Oh, this feels good. I'm going to close my eyes just for a minute. It can't. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, plump. <laughs> it did hurt. Ah. Uh... <sighs> oh wow, he's fast asleep already? Thanks to Magic Red Book, I guess. I won't mind if I borrow his ladder now, then will he? Time to get that magic wand. Come on, my steps if you want to live. He's got such an angry expression on his face when he moves. Oh, hang on. It was in there. <laughs> Oops. Right. And I guess we put the ladder up against the wall. Yep. And then we go up the ladder. Uh, can we pet the kitty? No, we can't pet the kitty. Oh, boo. Um, uh, on the desk. Is that it? Space wand. There it is, the Star Princess's magic wand! I still can't believe how she manages to imagine all these wonderful things. What a creative, precious kid. I've got the magic wand. Uh oh. Brat! Open the door! You ungrateful kid! How dare you lock the door! Don't go that ungrateful, you big doody! How dare you lock the door? You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! Uh, time to go, mate. You're still doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I had to borrow just to get you into that decent school? And this is how you repay me, you sport brat? Oh, snap! Things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before he smashes the door open. Yep, don't have to tell me twice. Oh, it's starting to rain. Num should be waiting for me at the base camp now. Okay, let's go. And casually run. Wow, that was, uh, that took a turn for the worst. Where is she? She's not here yet. Help! Someone! Anyone! Help! She's still at that bloody wither, isn't she? That voice, don't tell me. Go, go, go! She tried to cross the bloody wither, didn't she? I told her not to. Help, help me, I can't swim. Nirmala. Yeah, automatically running. Help me, I can't swim. Damn it, I can't swim either. Hang on, I have to find something to reach you. Just get it quickly, please. I don't think I can hold up much longer, I'm scared. Uh, magic wand. Ah! Did she grab it? Yes. No, she doesn't look like she's got it properly. Ah! Ah, feck. No, she hasn't. 
Ah. Am I going to have to be a heroic man and jump in? Time to grab the book. That won't work. Atma, is that me? Oh. What did the pair break? Oh dear. Ugh. To get you. Uh, uh, that doesn't look like you're coming together, dude. We'll make it together. I have. We have a story to finish. Right? Uh -huh. Oh. Um. Oh. Well, we can write the story under the water. A game by oh, Marky Zen Studios. Okay, that was cool. So that's the intro. It was okay, I guess. Apart from the whole, you know, falling to the bottom of the river and, I don't know, dying. Unless someone with a very big arm puts their arm in and rescues him. It's a cool credit sequence though. Bad news is I can't skip it, so you're watching it guys, you're welcome. But no, I like I like the art style. I like the pace of the game. I can't comment about the story because I'm not that far into it. But from what I played, apart from this guy turning into a ball and probably being dead, you know, it's okay. I don't approve of the father being a massive jerk to her, but you know, it is what it is. Right, I've turned into a ball of energy. Am I a wisp now? A wisp. A space for the unbound. Prologue, Etma, end. Oh. Do you want to save? Uh, yeah, go on then. No, I don't want to delete what I've just saved. Atma, always oh, okay. Wake up, you lazy bum. Well, that's um, <coughs> uh, one way. Ah, where, where am I? At school, silly. School. Why am I? Don't tell me you slept so deeply you lost your memory. I, uh, Atma. You still remember where I am, don't you? The girl of your... What? The girl of your dreams? Hmm, well... <coughs> yeah. That's why you're dating me in the first place then, isn't it? Hey, you're blushing! Hmm. It's Rhea, you sleepyhead. Look at you forgetting your girlfriend's name right after you've opened your eyes. Never do that again or I'll get real mad at you. Yes, ma'am. Girlfriend, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm still drowsy. That was a really wild dream. What time is it? Class is, al is already over. You were having a really good sleep. Was I? I'm so tired. Doesn't feel like I slept at all. What happened? I had this weird dream. It's haunting me. Weird dream? I hope I wasn't in it. Actually, you were. Your face filled the entire sky. And you had this awful, creepy smile. <laughs> uh, what was that supposed to mean? Beats me. Huh. 
I spend the whole day taking notes in class for you and you call me creepy. That's very rude, you know. You've been taking notes for me? Of course. Here. Whoa, that's so nice of you. Thank you, Raya. What will you do without me, eh? Raya! Mr. Ug... Ug... Ugung... Ug... Ug... Yeah, him. Mr. Ugug! Ah! Can I help you? You still haven't done your future plan consultation, whatever that means. Oh, right! I'm sorry, sir. Come to the staff room as soon as possible. A model student like yourself shouldn't miss an opportunity to prepare for the future. Why did I just get an image of that guy from Fallout 4 saying, Get ready to prepare for the future! That was scary. <laughs> right. You, have, you haven't you have done it either, have you, Atma? Huh? Uh, haven't, uh, haven't what? <clears throat> <sighs> just make sure you two fill out this form. I'll wait for you in the staff room. Will do, sir. Hey, what is that? What is what? What is a... F Ooh, I get choices. Haha. -ha. Why didn't you attend the consultation? What is it? Yeah. A meeting we seniors have to... With teachers to discuss what we plan to do after graduation. It's about grades, subjects, the universities we're interested in. Uh, I'm so in trouble. Why? I don't even know what I'm going to do tomorrow. How am I supposed to know what I'm going to do after I graduate? Damn, Matma. What about you? I haven't decided on anything yet. I'm, uh, confused. Dot com. I don't like it when adults involve themselves in my future. <laughs> I don't like it when adults involve them in my future either, but, you know. Yeah, me neither. They just want to make us into one of them. I want to choose my future, not, not one the adults would find acceptable or beneficial. The future you're still confused about. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel like doing it right now. Oh, I do really like this game. Then what should we do with the form? <laughs> Let's see. Oh. What if we change this into... This! Atmos and Raya's epic bucket list. Bucket list? <laughs> yes. Write down anything you want to do, even if it's silly. It's a planning for the future, right? What should I write? Whatever comes to mind. Hmm. Let me write something first then. Watch a movie with Atma. What movie should we watch? It doesn't matter as long as we go together. It's a date then. You bet. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh -huh. uh, collect all five letters of Yeoman. I don't know what that is. Listen to music and bore my eyes out. Let's do that. Oh, I didn't realise you would enjoy crying over something. Uh, it's not all about the crying. It's about listening to the music or reading a book or feeling something so strong that it moves you. Have you ever felt something like that before? Mm, I haven't been moved by reading or listening to something in a while, actually. It's your turn. What next? Have a pet cat. You like cats, eh? 
Yeah, they're fun. They're purr. They're teeny tiny paws. Cats are the best. I can purr too if you want. Easy. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <coughs> what are your next one? Uh, beat the future fighters. Beat the future's fighter high school. I want to collect all letters of the yeoman. I don't know what yeoman is, but... Oh, that bubblegum band. Each wrapping contains a letter from the word yeoman, right? Are you that keen to collect them all? Then say if you gather all the letters, you get a grand prize. What's the grand prize? A bike. Can you ride a bike? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thrill is in the collecting of the letters. If you say so. Over to you. Want to write something else? Hmm. Something delicious. You're craving something? Ooh, uh. Eat an entire black forest gato. Entirely. Entirely. A big one? The biggest one. <laughs> okay, now you're up. Uh, I want to collect 20 bottle caps. Only 20? That's not many. Unless maybe they're unique ones. I used to collection... I used to have a collection of my favourite bottle caps. I've lost them. And I want to start collecting again. Are they valuable? Mm, well, that. How can I put it? Sentimental. What's next, Raya? Throw a party. Why? What the party ever done to you? Ha ha ha! What sort of party? Not sure, but we're going to have so much fun. You can do the next one. Uh, put pet the fluffiest animal known to man. Yes. What is the fluffiest animal? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to Google it. <laughs> Maybe I need to pet all the animals in town to find the fluffiest one. Legend says the Fluffosaurus still roams the streets. <laughs> I think you spend too much time daydreaming that, ma. What's next? Launch some fireworks. Bright lights dancing in the dark. Aren't they romantic? Um, if you say so. Uh, yeah, I love the smell when they burn. Now, your turn. Oh, I've only got that one left. Boom. Future Fighter? Yeah, it's my favourite arcade game. It's notoriously hard to beat the high score. Oh, good luck with that then, hero. <laughs> Is there anything else to add to our bucket list? Mm, I can't think of anything special. Special? Hmm. How about we make the last one on the list something like this? Find some precious treasure. What treasure? It's mysterious. That's what makes it special. Yeah, you're right. I want to find some treasure. I want to find it now! It would be great if we could present this list at a future consultation. Why the long face? Well, we're almost done with high school. It feels like when the high school ends, the whole world might go with it. Oh, I don't want to think about the stupid consultation thing. How about we do something from the list right now? Could we find the treasure? Now, as in right now. Yeah, it'll be fun, come on. For your girlfriend, please. Okay, what do you want to do? It's been a while since we went to the movies together. Yes, let's skip the future consultation. Skip school? Ah, uh, Mr. Ong just said you were a model student. I'm a model student, not a model slave. <laughs> I want to skip school once in a while. Okay, let's go. Well, if you say so. Come on, I'm looking forward to skipping the consultation session. You skip classes now and then. 
How do you do this class skipping thing? First, by not announcing it loudly. <gasps> okay, now what? Grab your bag. We're out of here. We're going to walk straight out. Yes, be confident about it. And okay, don't let any teachers see you. Hey, wait for me. Oh, uh, we better go and find her. Come on, I'm going to hide the episode quickly. Oh, what's that? Co 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 Coala Cola. World Cup Edition. Very sporting looking. Okay. Come on. Oh, no. Where did Ray go? She's surprisingly fast. Ow. Ouch. Oh, what the? Uh, crap. I crashed into someone. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? I'm, uh... I'm fine, thank you. Are you okay? Fine, I guess. Oh, look, you dropped your book. Huh? I think that was yours, love, but, you know. Atma and... This isn't my book. Huh, strange. It's not mine either. Wait. Somehow I feel like I've seen this book before. <gasps> Is it the big red magical book thingy? What do you mean? Was it in my dream? I'm not sure. Your name is on the cover. How'd she know my name? Atma, that's you, right? Yeah, but how are you sure it's not yours? Let's see. If I remember correctly, I only bought the clothes I'm wearing, my glasses and my hairband. I didn't bring any books, all of mine are still at the library. Maybe you borrowed this note from your friend? Oh, maybe you borrowed this book from your friend! Nonsense! All my friends already went home and I never borrow notes because I always write my own during class. Saying you don't own this book is the most interesting statement. This book is objectively a real object. It has your full name on it. Well, I don't believe you own, but you don't believe you own it. Maybe you have short-term memory loss. It's usually caused by violent impact to the head. But I was walking from the schoolyard to the library at moderate speed. Oh, God. <laughs> Crashing into a girl much weaker than you couldn't cause you any head trauma. How do you know? My head's incredibly versatile. If it's not memory loss, you're either delusional or you're lying. Or you're a whack job. I... I'm sorry. Sometimes I talk too much. You don't say. All I'm saying is the most plausible situation is that you own the book, even that you don't remember it, Atma. Hmm, okay. Wait, you know my name? We're in the same class. You don't remember? Huh, really? You always fall asleep. The fact that you don't know me isn't surprising. It's still rather rude. This girl. Is she looking down on me? Nonsense. I know who you are. You're, um... Um... Classmate. <laughs> hey, you! You don't know, do you? No, I don't. Sorry. May I know your name? My name is Marin. I'm Atma. I know that. Well, I've got to go. Take care of your book, Atma. But it's not... Well, I mean, uh, sure. Mm. What is this book? I don't remember seeing it. What's written inside my dream. A little peep won't hurt anyone, right? Objectives? 
The owner of the book must be a determined person, unlike me. Oh well, this is a good place to keep the bucket list I made with Maya. I feel motivated already. Ah, a map! Someone drew a map of Loka City. It looks neat too. Inventory? Well, maybe I could write down what I have in my possessions, since I'm a little forgetful. A list of collectibles, huh? And I can stick photographs next to them. This is a nice way to preserve precious memories. Oh, strange, there's a lot of missing pages in this section. The pages have been torn out. I don't know whether Merrin was right or not. Maybe it had to, maybe it had something to do with the nightmare dream I had. I guess it doesn't hurt to keep a notebook around. I could even use the power in my dream with this. Use the power? Yeah, whatever. Lame joke. This is real life after all. Right. Anyway. I am going to end it here. For now. Sorry, my my mind was somewhere else. I don't know. Um, I really like this game. It, it's quite cool. Um, I, I really like the art style. And, uh... Yeah, I like the flow of things. As of yet, I can't comment on the story because I'm not far enough into it. But uh, yeah, no, I definitely look forward to more. I know I say it all the time, but this might be a streaming game. But anyway. Anyway, guys, if you did like the ep the Badly Coded Impressions video, I then decided if you liked the episode then. If you liked the episode, then please hack away at the like button at the bottom and maybe even do a cheeky subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in the next Badly Coded Impressions video. Bye bye for now guys.